Hey guys, it's my house, my rules, my sims, and welcome back to my Let's Play The Sims 3 Downton Abbey Challenge. So everyone, how are you? It's been forever. It fe I'm so sorry. It feels like I haven't spoken to you guys in like a million years. I it's just been a really like, I don't know, what's the word? Like, crazy hectic week. Um... Basically, results came. Results day was the other day. I went and saw my dad the other day. I've just been doing. I've just been so busy recently. It's just like crazy. I. What have they do? Why is she here? And why is she there? Oh, never mind. Um, I've just had a crazy like. I don't know. Just a crazy day. A crazy day. I've had a crazy like start to the holiday holiday oh my goodness i've had a crazy like last week it's not a start to the holiday i wish it was so because it's like almost summer it almost summer's finished and i'm just like no summer can't end summer forever no i wish i've got that summertime sadness oh uh uh, uh. chokes um but what i did manage to do while i was off camera is as you remember in the last part violet did age up into a gorgeous te um teenager she was like She's so stunning. Well, not with those eyes, though. She's like, mm-hmm. But she, she was, she's stunning. She is absolutely, like, gorgeous. I don't know what she's staring at. But she is so pretty. I was like, whoa. She is, um, like, beautiful. So I gave her a new look. I, uh, and off camera, I just did some things. Uh, Anastasia had a, a problem. Her traits were mixed up. But because at the party, I think she had, like, a drink, which, like, randomizes your traits. I don't know that much about the mixology skills, so I'm having a guess that she probably did have a drink which, like, got rid of her traits, but they were, like, insane party animal, um, I don't remember the other one, like, an insane party animal, and some, um, something else, and I was like, what? This isn't Anastasia, I was like, I gotta change the traits. So her age had to revert back, and I was like, oh no. So I'm gonna age her up into an adult at the end of the season, which will end in another two parts, which is so sad, but season two is coming in, um, the winter, so look forward, I hope you're looking forward to that, guys. But, uh, what I got overnight is, it's so cute what she got, this lifetime, this wish. Have fall in love with Matthew, don't hold back on the romantic gestures, your sim wants to fall in love. I'm just like blown away by this because I was like yes yes finally they've come to their senses Anastasia realizes she loves him so today's part is going to be dedicated entirely to Anastasia so she is going I'm going to send her out on a date to um I'm going to send her out on a date to uh with Matthew and I'm going to get them all hooked up because if you remember in Downton Abbey they did get romantically involved a bit before Cora said she was pregnant so, um, this is where drama's gonna happen, where she's like, where Cora, where, where, um, uh, Caroline thinks she's pregnant, and then, um, Anastasia's like, I don't know if I want to marry you anymore, sort of thing, so, this is, this is what's gonna happen. But, I thought, since we're here, what I would do, is I would show you off our, um, my new, um, objects. I did do some shopping on the Sims Free store. And I managed to pick up the brunch at the old mill and the bakery because I was like, I need to, I'm going to use them in my generations as well as my, um, as well as my, um, Downton Abbey. And I just saw this when it came out, I saw this and I was just like, whoa, I, um, really, really, really need this because this is perfect. It's just like the, um, it's just like the very definition of Downton. You know, like, tea, my lady. You know, the butler comes out like, tea is served, my lady. And she's like, thank you. Well, I think our butler's called Zebulon. She's like, thank you, Zebulon. Look, even the little, like, pinky sticking out. She's like, I'm so fancy. You already know. <laughs> jokes, jokes. I'm not going to sing anymore. I'm, I'm singing. My singing is awful. So they're going to go and enjoy some tea with her mother and her mother and her mother-in-law, sister-in-law. What? She's gonna join some tea um, with her mother-in-law. Yeah, that's it. And her daughter. This is just so, like, Downton. It's, like, seriously, like, the ladies. They're just probably, like, talking. Like, did you know the Duchess of Sunset Valley is going to visit her n next week, bringing her young son? Violet, I think you should go for him. You need to start learning it. You need to start learning to find a man, darling. She's just like... Well, no, because she's going to be an independent woman, because, I mean, she's, like, rebelling in what she's wearing as well. 
this is what I put her in. It's so cute. I love it. Pieces. So, um, it's from the Russia set. Um, it looks very folk, so I, I love it. It's so cute. I think it suits her because she's like, trying, she's like, I care, but I don't care sort of thing. So, what we're going to do is, Anastasia, instead of shaka braring with your dad, um, he's just standing outside the door like, do I go in? Uh, where is... <laughs> Matthew. We're going to ask Matthew out on a date because it is time to seal the deal. Our love is everlasting. Just like Matthew and Mary's because it just like makes me so happy when I see Downton Abbey and Matthew and Mary are there like in love. <laughs> oh, so um, what I'm going to actually get Violet to do is she's in a tall city hall. Alexandra is going to learn me a charisma skill and then she's going to research some science things. So let's go follow Anastasia, because today is dedicated to her finding true love, because that's what she wants to do. And also a position as well, like, you know, position and love in one go. <laughs> These two are still like it, like, Grandmama, whatever should I do? Dearest, don't worry, it'll all come to plan. I love this, this is so cute, I'm so glad I bought this, I just absolutely love it. I mean, look how cute the tea set is as well. I mean, the quality, because it's, it's very small, isn't, like, amazing, but it's so cute. I love it. So, let's go follow Anastasia, see what's heading on over here. She's in a taxi waist. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I hope, whoa, I thought she's, like, standing outside, like, hello. Um, so what's actually going to happen is we're gonna see if Seth Monroe, who's that? We're gonna see if Matthew is here. Or if he's stood us up. <laughs> oh, she's like, yes, ha 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 ha, love and power. <laughs> um, crazy girl. She's like, oh, Matthew, you're here. I'm so happy to see you. I'd rather see you over doing my homework. Like, she's got homework to do, but then again, if I was her, I would rather go on a date than do my homework. I'd be like... Like, if some girl called me up like, and was like, do you want to go on a date? I'd be like, uh, I've got an English essay, and she'd be like, but I, I, I want to go see this film. And I'd be like, okay, I'll be there in like five minutes. Because I'd be like, screw the homework, because I don't care. No, I do, but studies are important just as much as having a life. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do all this romantic stuff with, like, what's his face? Um... Thingy, Matthew. I'm really bad. I haven't been on this in ages, so I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting all their names. I probably could remember these names. I think that's Diane Whitfield. Whitfield. See, I knew her name, um, but I don't know my own Sims. That's just me, isn't it? Uh, so let's see. Elena's still learning her charisma. Um, Violet is touring because she's going to start getting very interested in political things, because she's going to be like, well, I'm interested in becoming political. Violet, I don't know why you want a trampoline. He's talking with the butler. In fact, Alexandra, ah, uh, you know, I keep thinking I'm playing Downton Abbey, like, really, so I keep calling her Violet and, like, Anastasia Mary. It's just r really annoying me. So what we're going to... No, we're not going to view our apple trees. We're going to tend our garden, because if I don't, no one will. So, um, let's go back to Anastasia. Let's see what's happening at their date. She think he thinks she's alluring. It'd be, it'd, it'd be nice if he'd give us some flowers, you know? Because, here we go, she's like, oh, Matthew. Um, Amora's hug him. Give him, and give him a first kiss. Because this is where like love is at its finest when two people who are meant to be together get together and you're just like oh, so cute the thing is i'm not a big like i don't know when it comes to like i don't know love books and love films i'm really not that like i really don't like them very much i'm like Neh. but when it's like love like this where it's in games and like in, in real life you're, i'm just like it's so adorable or on youtube and i see like K-pop and white boy um, are just like a couple who I just think are so cute together. Like I just love K-pop and white boy. They're just amazing. Um, they're amazing gay um, YouTubers. So yeah, and they're a perfect couple together. Um, Elena, there was a show on here. I think 
Yeah, I had to. Re I, I don't know what's happened. I had to redo this part actually, um, because last time I filmed and I realised that <gasps> no, <sighs> missed it. There was a. Um, I filmed it and I. Um, I I wasn't. My voice wasn't recorded over. So if I was that was really interesting when I found out. I was like, oh no. Um, this is just like awkward. But they're so cute. I mean, he's in a tuxedo. He's like, I dressed up for you. Love you forever. Oh, um, okay. I feel like I'm intruding on their like romantic. I'm third wheeling. I'm like basically over her shoulder. Like, I'm literally here, just like, boy, what you do? Boy, what's his problem? Um, I'm just basically just like, Anastasia, we gotta go. Um, who is this? I think he's new in town. Seth Monroe. Hey, Seth. Haven't seen you before. Looks like I'm all done here. Cool. Um, Violet is... Boring conversation. Yawn, will they ever stop talking from City Hall? No! Violet, you're meant to be into politics. Not, like, go being, like, all... Ah, oh, Violet. This is so cute. I don't know why she's like pouring the cup over there. Mm -hmm. She's like pouring it. Oh, she's pouring it in the center. I just love this. So cute. She's like, I can drink tea on my own. No one needs to tell me anything. So we're going to go back to Anastasia. I think we're going to say goodbye to Matthew because we're not going to exactly propose going steady because um, he's, uh, what's the word? He's just. He, we're gonna have to like break it after him as well. Ask to just be friends. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that later because she's gonna think that she he might not be able to inherit. And then spending time together was wonderful. I'd love to see you again soon. Ah, oh, after a wonderful date like that, there's no hand wringing over calculating moves to worm your way into another one. It's inevitable that you'll pursue, but you'll be seeing each other again soon. I hope there's prom soon because oh, it looked like he was getting in with us. I was like, what? Great day. Um, it, I want to go to prom. I think going to prom together. They'd be prom king and queen. They'd be so cute. It'd be like Lady Anastasia and Mr. Matthew Hayward are prom king and queen. She'll be like, mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's going to happen now because she's got to ask to just be friends in the future, which is so sad. I wish Downton Abbey had like a cheerier ending in season one. I would have been like, I just wanted them to like get together, Matthew and Mary, like so badly. I was like, Damn, you better get together. Um, okay, so Elena, what I think I want to do with you is you need to start playing cello. What's going on upstairs? I can hear like romantic conversation. Gerbitz Worthington would like to know if Elena Hayward. Ooh, yes, we're going on a date. Screw the cello. Uh, we are going with Gerbitz. He, she's found a match. She's found a man. Um, she's trying to like win Matthew off. Um. She's trying to win Matthew off Anastasia, but it's not working. So she's going for a day instead. Pillow fighting. So let's go follow Elena. Oh, and it's right behind her house. How convenient. So this is what's going to happen. This is, I'm thinking, is going to happen. This is going to be Sir Anthony Strallen. If you remember in season one, there was a Sir who, um... Oh, that's so weird. We're, like, on the edge of town. We can't go up here. We're on the edge of town, literally. Um... What, there was a sir who um, they wanted to marry Mary to before Matthew actually proposed. Um, but instead, Edith went for him. So this is what Elena's is doing. She can't get at Matthew, so she's going to go and get Gerbitz. Even though, I don't know how far away he is. I mean, where are, where is, where are, well, I'm so confusing myself today. She's like running away from like her home. Because I don't know where in the world we're going. Is that him? Gerbitz is like stalking her. He's, she's like, I'm being chased by my date. Um, where's my house? Can you see it? Oh, it looks so cool from the back. I think my throat's gone all croaky. <clears throat> so she's like, have I been stood up? It looks like I thought we was going to keep running. Um, banana tree, lettuce. Gerbitz, where are you going? Like, seriously, you're going to come cross the bridge. You're standing there. Oh, this will be so perfect to like, um, you know, 
just like hang out here. So what I'm going to do with Gerbits is I'm actually going to make them romantically involved. And then at the last minute, he's going to leave her at the altar because that's what Anthony Strallen does in the series. And that's what Gerbits Worthington will do in the um, thingy um, in this. Uh, so shall we see if he's rich? I want to see if he's rich. She doesn't know him. So this is like weird that he knows her, but she doesn't know him. What? 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 Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. Am, am I, like, seeing things? Or, um, did he ask her to go on a date and he's, like, an adult? Oh my goodness. Uh, I just realised something seriously wrong is going on. Gerbits, you aren't... Are you an adult? You seriously are, aren't you? Chat. Don't tell me they're like on a date. I will seriously be like, what is up with my game? Okay, good. No, they're on a date, but she can't be romantic with him. What the hell? What in the world is going on? Like seriously. Okay, well we're gonna share a secret. We're gonna shack a bra him. Um, uh, high five. Gossip. Get to know. I'm sorry, but I'm just weirded out by this. Something's gone going wrong with my game. They're just like, would Elena like to go on a date with an adult? What? You know what? Um, Elena learned that Gerwitz doesn't like to flirt. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't really care anymore about him. I thought he was a teenager. So she's like, whatever, I'm leaving. Because this is a weird event. I don't know what's going on. Now she's, like, permanently stuck on a date. Oh my goodness, we never should have gone on the date with Gerbits. Ah! Damn it! Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh well, never mind. They got on really well, these two. I'm so happy to see that. She's like, darling, darling, how are things going with Matthew? She's like, darling. It'll only be a matter of time until I'm the next Countess of S Countess of Starlight Shores. Oh my! I thought she was gonna slap her. This is a great place to pillow fight, right next to the Ming vase. Great place to pillow fight, girls. I I just wish I could pillow fight right here as well. Um. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this part here. I hope. What the hell? <laughs> What is wrong with this dog? A dog? A horse? What in the world is it doing? It's like peering through the window like, Girls, I can see you! Oh, that face though. <laughs> that face though. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, I see something. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this part here. Um, so in this part, I know not much actually happened. Uh, but we did get Anastasia and Matthew romantically involved. We sent Elena on the weirdest date possible. <laughs> Like, what? Um, and yes, so in the next part, what we'll be doing is Caroline, wherever she may be, Caroline over here will have a false pregnancy. Like, she thinks she's pregnant. Because in Downton Abbey, um, Cora thinks she it gets pregnant, but then she, like, loses the baby, which I was like, oh, I can't believe that. I was, I was so shocked. So she's not going to lose the baby, but she's going to think she's pregnant, but she's not. So there, this is where Anastasia will have to dump um, Matthew, because he is, a f unfortunately, um, r uh, she doesn't want to, like, ruin her future, but she loves him, she'll always love him, but she knows what's right and what to do, society rules, all of that stuff. So, I'm going to leave you guys here, I hope you enjoyed this, we need to start using more of our rooms, like, especially these two, um, and I will see you guys all later, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you soon. Okay guys, bye for now!